Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. Sidney Poitier is one of the great movie stars of all time. In the 1960s, he just gave one iconic performance after another. The movie we're going to look at today is one of his lesser known films, and perhaps his strangest. It's from 1971. It's called Brother John. I would like to live and die a simple life like my father. 1967 was a banner year for Sidney Poitier. He had three huge hits back to back to back To Serve with Love, In the Heat of the Night, and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner the latter two both being nominated for Best Picture, with Heat winning. He could kind of do anything he wanted. And Brother John is the kind of project that only exists when somebody can do whatever they want. It's odd, it's unsatisfying, but kind of compelling all the same. Portier plays, well, what is he? Is he the angel of death? Is he Christ? Or is he just a guy coming back to visit his decaying hometown? The movie got terrible reviews when it came out. The New York Times called it a disaster, but it's developed a bit of a cult following. Poitier is low key here, but terrific. He's got some great scenes with actor Will Gear and beautiful moments with Beverly Todd. Todd shows up in another Poitier movie from this time period that has also been forgotten, The Lost Man. That one is not even available. I watched it on VHS. I couldn't even find the trailer, so I'll just talk a little about The Lost Man here. It's a remake of Odd Man Out, but instead of Irish revolutionaries, it's been changed to the Black Power Movement. Portier plays perhaps his toughest character in any film. He shoots, he kills, he steals, all while wearing some very cool sunglasses. Both Brother John and The Lost Man were big disappointments at the box office. And Poitier seems, at this point, to change his focus. In the second half of his acting career, Poitier drifted over to more conventional studio product, his Mr. Tibb sequels and the broad comedies with Bill Cosby. Brother John and Lost Man feel like the last time he took big chances on offbeat material. Both are pretty terrific and worthy of rediscovery. Oh, 